Good girl. Good girl. So she followed that right down this track. She went a little bit farther past it and then came right back to it and found it. Hi, Kat here from Standing Stone Kennels and today we are going to be working on tracking. Um, I've got Quest loaded up in the truck and she is ready to go. She may even let you know about that here with a couple barks because she's pretty excited. Um, but we're going to be working on tracking with her today. And the process of tracking is we want to have our puppies be able to come in and stay concentrated and be focused on a specific scent and follow that scent out to where it ends. Um, whether that's using a liver like we're going to be using today or when we're tracking birds. Um, so you think about when you're out hunting and you shoot a bird and it goes down and it's not quite dead and it runs off on you, um, that's where this tracking can really come into play and be really beneficial for helping you to recover those um, birds in those situations. So we have found through um, doing some of the deer blood tracking training that we've been doing recently that um, young puppies really tend to be able to focus and follow the scent of those blood trails very well. Um, so today, to start this process, we're actually going to be using a little piece of deer liver. Um, liver is very strong smelling and um, it's going to be very smelly and stinky for her. So she should be able to follow this really easily. Um, so I've got some liver here, all prepped in a bag, and I've got a little S hook. Um, the process, the the reason that we're using an S hook, and I'm just going to clip that onto my lead here, is um, then I can thread the liver onto the hook. Um, another thing to keep in mind when you're setting up any tracks or drags like this is we're having a crosswind this way. The wind is coming across this path, and I'm also going to be using this path. We've got a couple, uh, two tracks down here. I'm going to stay in one of those and drag my liver. I'm not going to go very far, maybe 20 or 30 yards, and then I'm going to leave the liver at the end of the drag, and then I'm going to take a big loop out instead of walking back across where I've just drug um, my liver. Now, of course, I'm going to be leaving my own scent out there as well. And unfortunately, in this situation, it really can't be helped um, at this point. But the whole point of this exercise is for our puppies to learn how to use their noses to follow a scent and stay focused on it and stay on that track and not break off and search um, and stay focused and not get distracted by anything else that is out here. So if they're following this liver drag as well as a little bit of my scent, that's fine. Um, when I get Quest out here, I'm going to give her a few pieces of the liver that we've saved to get a taste for her as well as a smell of what that smells like. So I'm going to get my liver hooked up here. There we go. It's nice and bloody, just what we like. I'm going to go ahead and make a spot starting here. I'm going to put the rest of this liver in my pocket, like I said, so that when I get Quest out, I can give her that. I'm also going to leave my hat here so that I can mark where this liver actually is at and where my track has started. So I'm going to walk this out and then I'm going to make a big loop so I'm not cutting across my track again, grab Quest, and then come back out with her. So. Hi, I just wanted to stop and take a minute to thank you for watching our free videos. If you've enjoyed watching Quest through her puppy training series, head on over to our Patreon account to show her some puppy love to support these videos. When we start this drag and track with Quest, we want her to be really focused and settled down and thinking about um, what we're doing here and not just running around willy-nilly. I also um, have her on a long line. I don't want her breaking out and searching. I want to keep her focused and concentrated on the track, um, on this liver drag. So I want to keep her close and on that. I do have an e-collar on her, um, but I want to put less emphasis. Woo -hoo -hoo. She's like, I think I already know what I'm looking for. Um, I want to keep her 
focused um, on that without pulling a lot of attention back to me uh, because I don't want her looking necessarily to me for direction. I want her to use her nose. So I've got, like I said, my few little pieces of liver. I think she knows what these are about. Don't eat the bag, silly girl. Here, quest, 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 quest. Quest, here you go, right here. So I'm gonna let her smell and eat those little treat pieces. Most dogs really are food motivated and they really like the li little liver treats. Yum. They're pretty chewy though. Good girl. The other nice thing about starting, oh, you dropped it. It's right here. Quest, quest. The other nice thing about doing these liver drags is that at the end of this track, she's gonna have the reward of that liver that she's gonna be able to eat. So I'll save the rest of these in my pocket. Grab a hold of my line, try and get her untangled before we start this process. And then I'm gonna try and pick up my hat as well so it's not a distraction when we get up there. Quest. Come on. So, get my hat. Good. Ready, ready, look. You missed it. Good girl. Good girl. So she followed that right down this track. She went a little bit farther past it and then came right back to it and found it. It's a pretty big chunk of liver. So it's taking her a little bit to eat. Good job. Come here. Quest, come here. Quest, here. Good. So she's gonna follow that scent all the way back to where we started. Um, so this was a really good first liver drag track for her to do. Um, she stayed focused on that. You didn't see any veering off the track at all. And she followed it all the way down and found her piece of liver. So she did a really great job. She went a little farther past it because she was moving at a pretty good clip. She almost made me run to keep up with her. Um, I had the long line all held up and it was a little tangled. I should have had it all unwrapped and ready to go um, before I let her go because she was um, very focused and on it and moving at a pretty quick clip. Um, but she did a really good job on this first track. And this is gonna be a great first step for us to be able to transition to using birds in this process as well. Um, typically we'll try using a duck and then move on to using a pheasant. Um, this is part of the Nod to Natural Ability Test is tracking a uh, wounded pheasant type simulation. So getting her prepared for that this spring and this is the beginning steps that we like to take. So thanks for watching and let us know if you have any questions. Good job, Quest. Mm -hmm.